Okay, let's turn things over to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. It is an exciting day for the performing arts world. Today, entertainment venues can officially reopen their doors. News 12 reporter Katie Lusso is in Fort Greene with everything you need to know. Katie, good morning. Got to be some excitement over there about this. Yeah, good morning. Certainly some excitement from those who are affected by this, which is pretty much all of us, Anthony and Asia. But it was a, a year ago this month that many of these performing arts venues were shut down. And while they're only allowed to reopen at 33% capacity, they say it's a start. The lights are coming back on, but not quite yet on Broadway. They're expected to return in the fall. Other performing arts venues like Brooklyn Academy of Music are anxious to welcome back an audience, although they've decided their first live and in-person event will be held outside. I think that everyone in New York City is just aching to be together in some way and that the arts bring us together. Charlotte Cohen is the executive director of the Brooklyn Arts Council and says it's an exciting day. After a year of being shut down, performing arts venues can reopen at 33% capacity with a max of 100 people indoors and a max of 200 people outdoors. Performers, artists are anxious and enthusiastic about sharing their work with the public. It's what drives them, it's what, um, it makes them enthusiastic and, and it brings joy. Social distancing and masks will still be required. Now the Broadway League says that one of the reasons Broadway will not be returning quite yet is because they say that 33% capacity does not allow them to bring in enough money to make it cost effective when it comes to running a Broadway show. In Fort Greene, I'm Katie Lasso, News 12.